Okay, we just got back from DC's Suicide Squad, and all I have to say is, what the fuck is wrong with critics? Seriously, I have no idea. what the hell? That was an awesome fucking movie. Yeah, it was, it was man. I, I really I am, enjoyed it. What the fuck? So why does it have such a low aggregate score on Rotten Tomatoes? That's fucking bullshit. Now, it's not bullshit enough for you to go and create a petition to shut down the fucking website. That's stupid. Because <laughs> it's not Rotten Tomatoes. It's an aggregate of all the critics. Yeah. Uh, but critics yeah. are totally fucking wrong on this movie. They are. You need they to go are. out and see Suicide Squad because this is seems like a turning point for the murderverse. <laughs> 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 Even though there is plenty of murder in this oh, yes. one. And there's supposed to be because this is Suicide Squad. So I'm telling you right Right now, it is a fantastic movie, and you should go out and see it in theaters, support it. So we're going to talk to you in a very short review, because it's really hard to talk about this film without doing spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't talk about the villain, who the villain is, uh, but just talk about the specific actors and their performances, and then we'll do a very long spoiler section where we get to talk about everything and the nitty gritty, and oh my god, there is so much to talk about. So that's the big biggest thing. What the fuck is wrong with you, critics? I can't believe that you it, that you don't think that this is better than Batman vs Superman. It is it by is. far. Well, and uh, I am a huge Superman fan with anything with Superman in it. I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's cuz I kind of went in with a little yeah. bit lowered expectations. You, you look at the reviews and it was like it's shit. It's, it's awful. awful. It's thirty percent lower than thirty. Why are they making movies? Still? Right. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, I was trying to bad. find some negative aspect, but no. like, you really have to nitpick to find yeah. something. Yeah. Other than that, it was great. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. the thing is, they handled so many characters. Yeah. So many yeah. characters. Not uh, all in of the them. film. And Joe, okay, Joe, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute now, okay, Everybody so then, knows. no, no, then, no, Everybody no, knows. no, we're moving on, we're gonna talk about that in a second, yeah, you whatever. probably know what that is, I didn't say shit. <laughs> okay, uh, so, basically, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. Oh, yeah. I, I think yeah. um, I, I think maybe movie critics are not used to getting that many backstories for all of these new characters, right. and it's very difficult for director uh, uh, David Ayers and the screenwriters to yeah. really try to put this together in a in a way that flows smoothly without showing a ton of time. It, it or didn't feel crammed. Overloading with backstories, but in my opinion, it was a perfect balance of backstories. Yeah. Not everybody got a 15 minute sequence about their origin story, nope. but the important ones did. And the two most important ones was... Deadshot yep. and Harley Quinn. Ooh, you yeah. got it. Yeah. And that's stars, what you're gonna find. Stars of the good. film by so far. <laughs> you're gonna see that awesome. right away that these two carry the film pretty much on their own. Uh, well, not on their own because there actually is a great supporting yeah. cast yeah. here. Yeah. And yeah. and a lot of maybe a lot of critics don't realize. Well, I don't understand Killer Croc's motivation he's or his backstory. He's a fuck. He's a supporting character and a minor supporting character yeah. too. Mm -hmm. You know, so so we don't need. Uh, backstories for every single person, but the backstories that we got were, were short, and they, they were, were to the, the point, point. Yeah. they even had emotion in right. some of these things, yeah. and they set up uh, um, mm -hmm. things that paid off later on. They foreshadowed and they delivered on things later on, and I thought it was done fantastically. Now, I don't want to talk too much about the villain, but did you feel that there was adequate yes, tension? Yes, I yep. did. Did oh, you feel yeah. that they were going up against... You yeah, know, I was like, how, there's no way they're yeah. gonna, there's no way they're gonna overcome this, this. right? Yeah, and that's so good. We threw the roof because <laughs> this, like, yeah, these guys are screwed. Because so this team <laughs> is the Suicide Squad, so you got a guy really good with guns, Deadshot. Mm -hmm. You got Margaret who hits things with baseball bats and don't <laughs> yep. give a fuck. And you've got a, a crocodile. Human torch. You've got you know yeah. a human torch where who is probably one of the most powerful ones. You've got the katana who who has this right. uh, ancient blade that yeah. can store Feel souls. souls. Exactly. Exactly, and so uh, in this movie, you actually felt tension. Like, how the fuck is this sort of B team going to go and take on a meta human of such a, a, a large proportion? And not just one of them, but two of them. And we'll talk more about that in, in spoilers. But uh, uh, Dell, did you find any glaring negatives in the film? Uh, 
Not enough to get not you enough, down to thirty okay, so like, percent. It's like thirty no. percent, and like Such there's not enough movie. wrong with the movie. The plot's not bad. Yeah, the acting is great. The main characters are really well done. Did were you a little upset that it kind of took place in one area, or was that fine? No, that That's was totally yeah. fine. It was in one area. I mean, the city was getting fudged up, <laughs> and they did it really well. Yeah, so, I mean, whatever. I thought it was great. That fucked up feeling, and and they would walk through this destroyed city, and you're like, this is really good. I Atmosphere yeah, to right. set up the battle yeah. for later on. They did. Um, what they about the comedy in the film? A lot of people have been talking about, oh, you could tell the, the, the reshots where they injected the comedy. Fuck you. Oh, no, you yeah. can't. Yeah, this is really yeah. well put together. And oh. Will Smith had the same comedy he, he does in yes. like every it was movie. Perfect. They were like, just perfect. be yourself, dude. Just, yeah. just whatever. Do your thing. Do Will you, Smith you is yeah, he's <laughs> so charismatic. Yeah. He is. Well. Love the guy. <laughs> he's so difficult not to like. And Deadshot is probably, of all the villains, the one that you could see being the most relatable or the guy right. that, that has a little bit of uh, heart to him that could easily possibly yep. go either way right. and it made it interesting we have Batman cameos in this though it is relatively short yep. so Ben Affleck is in the film but it's it's short um, but it's to the point and it, it really uh, it was a great scene uh, where you know Deadshot uh, uh, well, first we have to talk about Amanda Waller because oh, yeah. she yeah. is the one that I was scared was not where they were not going to get right and apart from one particular moment in the movie, which I, I know you guys are yep. know about, what movie, I'm, what moment I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah. they nailed her character so well. Yeah. I hated what they did in the comics where they turned her into this super sexy, big ass boobs and huge, you know, just yeah. big yeah. bodacious booyahs with a curvaceous <laughs> body. No, Amanda Waller has always been this character that subverts what you might expect. Yeah. Batman is even scared of Amanda in, she is, in the comics. She's a really good actor. In she movie. and and they yeah. they really got Amanda right. The actress did a wonderful job at her, but I think they took her a little one step too far. And we'll talk about that in the yep. spoilers. Yeah. But like almost every single other character, I think I, I think they fucking nailed. I got yeah. I got I got to be negative. But we do have to talk about one. I got not negative. <laughs> I gotta talk about the Joker. Okay, that's who I was I gotta yeah, talk yeah. about the Joker. <laughs> okay, before that, though, so this before is before that. Yeah. Okay, before that. Okay, what's his name? Courtney? Yeah, yeah Jai God. Courtney. Yeah. I know you Dude. love this did, guy. Did he not do a good job? Look, on, I hated Jai job, Courtney man. in Terminator. Yeah, I think that he guy. has like no no flavor he to him at all. Funny, too, but he man. put on a great yeah. accent. Yeah. 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 And he was really fun as there were so many funny scenes with him where it's like, okay, there was a moment where it's like, okay, you guys are free. Like, yeah, he's like, don't take his shit. And he left. And you're like, he's the first one to leave. The way he, did the way he shows perfect. up yeah. in the bag. You've yeah, seen in yeah. the trailers. That's Jai did a great See, job. But go. know that his part is small. He is what I consider one of those supporting minor characters that doesn't get fleshed out as much as sort of our main cast, uh, where you get some backstory like Deadshot, uh, Harley Quinn, a little bit of Joker. Uh, but he does get a little he, bit. He was a good comedic relief. But he was like, if you were going like Conte, he was definitely the weakest on the team mm -hmm. as far as like the entire team. No, no, no. The weakest would probably have to be Killer Croc. No, Killer Croc was Slim freaking Knot. Crocodile. Slim Knot was, uh, was like super probably crazy the weakest. Yeah, Slim, yeah, Slim, Slim Knot was really good. Really I mean, like really Boomerang, good. I was like, he turns I, into I, Boomerang. I don't he doesn't. Hey, that was, you. That's just it. <laughs> How does Killer <laughs> Croc <laughs> ease people? I was like, I can't. I'm like, you can okay. Well. <laughs> Hold on. So let's talk about. You guys obviously want to know our opinions on Joker. So we'll go one at a time through here because um, he's an important part of the movie. This is the first time we're seeing the next generation of Joker. What did you think, Angry Liquid? Um, I thought he. It was. Like I was. I was. We talked about this just a little bit before. I think he did a good job, but. Jared I want to see. I want to see more of it. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you want to see yeah, more. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. Like I was telling him when he's on screen, I was I was interested, and I want to see more, and I want to, I really need just more of a movie with him in it, mm -hmm. other than the the bits and pieces that we got. But it's not that. I was told negative, that he wasn't in the film too much, but he actually kind of was. I mean, he got fleshed out yeah, they, a little was bit. He wasn't one of the main characters, but aside from sort of the main characters who I would consider Deadshot and, and Harley, he, he would make regular appearance and Amanda. Uh, yeah. He would make regular appearances. So, so uh, did he do a fucking terrible job and you hated no, seeing him? No, no. No. I wanted okay. to see more every time I saw every, him. Every, okay. So, what's your opinion, Del? 
He only had like seven or eight minutes total mm. of screen time in the entire movie. So it's not like you could really give him a mm. good judge on the character mm -hmm. or anything. But as far as Jokers go, he did the best that he could yeah. with the way they wanted the Joker to be. But I don't like the gang thug type of guy. Ah, uh, right? that's not that's your personal favorite. I, I don't like the tattoo, right. gang banging thug <laughs> joke. You know what I mean? The like, super psycho, young, crazy, gang banging I, joke. I mean, his acting, it was, he did the best he could. He did not do terrible. I just don't like that joke. Y'all are fucking crazy. I'm going like to stop y'all right now and say <laughs> this Joker was excellent. Excellent? I thought he was excellent. He was Every average. single he was time average, I... Yeah. No. Oh, what? You think average? Come on. Average. Why, average, Joe? Average. Tell me why. Honestly, like some <laughs> some of the... His mannerisms were pretty good and whatnot. But the way he sounded, I'm sorry, but he reminded me of Richard Nixon. <laughs> what happened? The what way he said, like, no. Do you know yes. who Richard Nixon is, Yes, he's the fucking president. What do you mean he sounded it's like just, Richard like, Nixon? Do, do your impression. I'm not a crook. <laughs> oh, I see what like, that that He's particular like, voice. Right. No, yeah, yeah. no, okay. Did, right? All right, there was a little bit. This is a new <laughs> joke. Here, this is a new but joke. I didn't think that. I didn't think that at all. When this I is the first thing I thought, thing it's I thought fucking of. Great. First thing. The, he, this particular Joker has an unpredictability that yeah. is so appropriate for Joker. At first, and that unpredictability is he's losing, he's losing me, and then bam, he accentuates yeah. on a particular line, or he goes crazy, and and. And I like that. Now, I will agree with you that this is not my preference no. for favorite Joker. I, 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 that's such a good that's, way of putting it. it. Is thug, not my preference. This is Thug Joker. Mm -hmm. This is Thug uh, Bling Bling Joker. When we right. prefer more the, you know, alter the the counter for Batman. In fact, when Batman shows up, Joker hardly acknowledges him. Yeah. You know, you would think that there's more play there, but maybe perhaps they haven't had their like big battle yet right. and an emotional connection no. with each other. But still, I think they're wrong. I think that Joker <laughs> with so his eight one. minutes He's always a force on screen. You right. want to see more of him. And I hope that the Ben Affleck movie, solo directed, is going to feature Joker as the villain. Yeah. Which kind of sucks because we've seen Joker so many damn times. But you can't set up you can't set up him right. this well in this movie and then not put him in the Batman movie. So they kind of wrote themselves into a corner there. But it's a, it's a good corner. Now, I will make my final determination on whether he's a, you know, where he ranks on the other Joker. Jokers yeah. after that movie, I think, but uh, but I think y'all are crazy, and he was an excellent Joker. Jared Leto did a great performance for a different dead. type of Joker. Yeah, now I think sure. we have almost all of the different types of Jokers that we've seen on screen. We'll have to see how they do him in the movie because like and the, the cartoon Joker, because yeah. like a thug Joker that just shoots people <laughs> and, and stabs them and stuff doesn't appeal to me. That mm. he needs to do psychological fear well. Yes, because if he can't, he doesn't. The this doesn't feel like a psychological. It's not a psychological Joker. 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 He's literally mm -hmm. This feels a like a more guy. terror Joker kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like a dude well, that will we'll like see. stab yeah. you in the chest like six times. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, the setup, uh, of course, uh, Harley Quinn. Everybody wants to know how well Harley Quinn was done on, on this particular movie. Do you think she fits her comic book character? I, I mean, the only thing that could have made it better, I think, would have been if she just had that Batman animated series voice. Other than that, oh, yeah. other than that, because I just thought of that just now. <laughs> I agree with other that. than that, she did flawlessly. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> flawlessly. I, mean, flawlessly. I just wanted that because she did have a yes. bit of an accent. No, I'm with you. you know I mean. wanted to come over here and grab you and say, no, you better she did a really good 10 job. out of 10, Harley. Okay, Margaret <laughs> yeah, Robbie. Yeah. Nails. Yeah, she nailed yeah. it. Absolute. I was so concerned. That was my big concern too. We right. are of like minds, where it's like, no, there's only Tara Strong does the the voice and She's the cartoon boom. Harley, Perfect. but yeah, but man. but she actually does kind of go into the voice. Right. It's yeah. not. Um, you know, Blink. it's kind of her own voice, but right. it is throwing back to the cartoon right. series. Mm -hmm. She says pudding several times, which makes you smile. Mr. J. And yeah. Mr. J, yeah, it's it's, cool, it's fantastic, and she has that infatuation with Joker, and it works. Though there, I do think that maybe the Joker kind of uh, is a little too. Into Harley? Yeah. That, uh, that the real Joker, in my opinion, kind of wouldn't be that into her. But you saw a little bit of that during their uh, uh, 
origin scene yep. yes. where he convinces her, obviously, this is not a spoiler because she's white, she and enters the Ace Chemicals and falls in the Ace Chemicals just like Joker did, but it, it, he, there's this moment where it looks like, oh, I took care of her and I'm, yeah. I'm going to take off, but then he's like, Mm, you know, and <laughs> yep. so Joker serves as the sort of foil that shows up in the movie several times linked to Harley. And it kind of made you think, right. maybe he's a little too into Harley? Yeah, because isn't it like the whole thing with him is that he just uses her, sees her as an object, things mm -hmm. like that. Later on... But you could tell this one, they yeah. he kind of is in love with Harley. Yeah, later right. in the comics, she like turns on him because she realizes, mm -hmm. oh my god, he's using me. Right. But in this, they even paid tribute to the Harley in the animated series. Yeah. She picks up her hammer at yeah, some yeah. one point and they're like showing the hammer There's the original the suit for yeah, Harley in the yep, beginning. Perfect. So basically, uh, this is what I want out of the DC universe a perfect blend of of comedy of action of high stakes of high um uncertainty because you're going up against such a huge level right. when it was superman wonder woman and batman versus a fucking uh reject troll ninja turtle <laughs> combination oh yeah there was no tension That's it a point was of just, reference <laughs> yeah, it was fucking, yeah it was terrible and this one got it right and i'm really yeah. happy it juggled a ton of characters in the most appropriate way everybody's motivation 100 percent correct except for one bit with um, the Amanda Waller character, which was never resolved. Uh, by the way, stay after the credits. There is an after credit scene. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you our final verdicts uh, so that you can compare it with the stupid-ass fucking critics over there <laughs> at the aggregate sites. Um, and then please stick around for our spoilers review where we have tons to talk about. So uh, we're going to have our special guest, Angry Liquid, start here with a rating out of 10. And you know my course, rating system. You, he's been watching yes. the show. He's one of uh, uh, the viewers of the Angry Joe <laughs> Show a long time. He's in yeah, town. Yeah, he's been here a yeah. long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. been here for a minute. Uh, I'm giving it straight up 8 out of 10. Yep. I enjoyed this movie. <laughs> Thoroughly, I yeah. would go watch it again. Yes! I encourage anyone else, if you like DC at all, go see it. Go see it. Me too. Fuck all those critics who are talking movie. shit about it. I, they, it there's I something wrong. I think it. I don't understand it. I don't understand. I think no, maybe I it's trendy. It. Like we started this, or we helped start this monster where it's trendy to bash on the DC films. The problem is. Batman vs Superman had problems, There's real yes. problems. Yeah, There's a great video on YouTube that, that shows how, how Zack Snyder has an infatuation with moments rather than scenes. Yeah. And there were great scenes right. in this particular film, especially the bar scene where things yeah. kind of calm down and they're talking to each other and having genuine moments. And you get to talk as characters and mm. you get their motive backstories, motivations, and you feel as if they become friends for real these misfits these villains right. find this emotional yeah. connection that they otherwise have never had in the world yeah. and and just their crazies talking to each other is fascinating right. you have harley quinn playing off diablo was a great yes. uh, little moment yes. where their crazies yeah. crazies were intersecting right. um all right so seven with liquid no no eight, he said eight, eight. eight yeah go ahead i'm giving it an eight it okay. was an eight movie it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen because you have to compare it to like the Marvel ones because they're their rivals. You gotta okay, them. obviously so, Marvel, so all the Marvel fanboys you know, are you gotta, you real mad. Them. They're they're Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought was better, and that this is their Misfits, Guardians of right? the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. their Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Same principle, criminals, things like that. So they, yeah. Guardians was slightly better, so this is an eight. Guardians was a nine for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, for sure. And uh, Joe, I'm absolutely agree. An eight. I'm definitely gonna go watch this again and support films like these. Yeah, no, yeah. this is the turning point I think for the DC universe. And if we go out there and we show uh, Warner Brothers and them that this is this the type is of movie, this is yes. how you do it uh, with a, with this perfect mixture of these elements. They had fun. They, yeah, had, they, had, they fun. had fun. You they know what's crazy? It. It great. These villains. Acted more like heroes than Batman and Superman uh, right. in Batman vs yeah, Superman. Yeah, I am not joking. No, no, there's a right, moment yeah. in the film where they, they, where there's a turning point for these right. particular villains, yeah. and they do something heroic. Where, as in Batman vs <laughs> Superman, it was all mopey, melancholy. Maybe I shouldn't be Superman. And Batman's all like, oh, fucking kill everybody, kill everyone. <laughs> you know? And so it, it's just. God damn it, Zach. Please uh, <laughs> listen to the feedback yes. and really make Justice League better. Not on Rotten 
tomatoes. Don't right. listen to that. Don't listen to Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes WB, please. This is a turning point. You're doing a great job. We want to see more of this. I hope this film... I want to see uh, uh, Suicide Squad 2. Yes. Yeah, I really do. Definitely. Um, Sign me up. So I'm also going to... I really wanted to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. But there are a few elements that we could talk about at length in the spoiler section. So I'm also giving it an 8 out of 10. Boom! Boom. Eights Eight. all across the board. What? Eights mean go out and see the yeah. film in theaters. You will not regret it. Um, a lot of people are not familiar with these characters, and I think it's a great intro into these characters. They are like yeah. their comic book counterparts, and maybe it will increase fascination with the Suicide Squad. And it's just this great, it's good to know that there's other shit happening yep, in the right. DC universe. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool now that we can have crossovers, and I, I liked it when Batman crossed over. I liked the references to Superman. And now I'm starting to see this universe come together. So as long as we take the tone and, and move it to where yeah. this is this. Is exactly. so great. Yep. Um, all right, so that's our review for Suicide Squad. Don't listen to anybody. Listen to my fellow reviewing brothers out there, Jeremy Johns on YouTube, and now Angry Joe Show is 100% yeah. supporting this film. Go out and see it. Okay, guys? We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Let's go!